Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. I have my April empties. Uh, I finished quite a bit. I'm really excited about some of the stuff that I got through and I'm really excited about some of the stuff I've already finished in May. So be tuning in next month. First up is a Tom's of Maine. This is my favorite mouthwash. This is the Cool Mountain Mint. It does not have peppermint in it. If you haven't been watching my channel before, I have an allergy to peppermint. So any of my mouth products like oral care, toothpaste, and all of that, I can't have peppermint. So I was really excited to find a good mouthwash that doesn't cause uh, my mouth to start cracking and being sore. Next up is a supplement, and I got this one at Ulta. I think they clearanced out this brand. It is the Naturally GFG for You, good for you. This is the Balance and Boost Herbal TLC Healing. It's um, tart cherry concentrate, five loxin and curcumin. It's supposed to help with like your joints and stuff. And I did feel like I wasn't having quite as much cracking of my joints with this. I am a dancer. Um, I don't dance as much anymore, but like pretty much any joint that you can imagine I can pop and I do pop on a regular basis. Um, if not every day, every other day, basically. So this, I did feel like it didn't make my joints didn't feel quite as, um, crackly as they use usually do. I do have two more bottles of it, so we'll see how I feel in the end of June. Then I finally finished this. This took forever. This is Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. I thought I loved this stuff. Turns out I didn't, and I was so glad to get rid of this. I got this at one of the Black Friday sales, so it was like $15, which is a great price for this, actually. But this is a terrible system. So, like, you can see that I, the bottle is kind of mangled because I was trying to, like, get the product out, and the I had the hardest time getting the stupid cap open, that's a problem. And then it's such a tiny hole and it's an exfoliating wash. So there's some beads in there. Um, it just, oh my gosh, I ended up taking the cap off every time and then like going like this to try to get product out. And I was so glad when I finally finished this up. It also felt um, stronger on my skin than I remembered it. So I was, I would never buy that again. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, yeah, that's one that I'm very excited is out of my collection. A body scrub. This is not my favorite scent. This is the Tree Hut. This was a limited edition for, I think, their 16th birthday. It is the Lemon Blueberry Tart. This is a scrub that I really like. I didn't like the scent. It's just, it was a little too bakery. I don't do well with bakery scents. They kind of... Um, they make me feel slightly nauseated. I don't know what it is about the scents in them, but anything that's too bakery, and this was really bordering on the too bakery, um, just not a fan of. So was glad to finally finish that one. It was nice, and um, but it was more bakery than it was. I didn't get any blueberry in it at all. Finished a deodorant. This is the Secret Water Lily. I like this scent. I've had this before. This one it started crumbling. Like I had, I can, there's like, you can hear that there's a whole bunch of the product still in there. Cause it's kind of it started crumbling and it's in the middle of it. And it was a mess at the end. So I wasn't too excited about that. I just didn't like that aspect of it. Some hand soaps. This one I really liked. This is a deep cleaning hand soap with coconut oil from the Bath and Body Works. This was Tahiti Island Margarita. Oh my goodness. It smelled so good. Oh my gosh, I love the scent of this. It is fresh squeezed lime, anjou pear, and sea salt. It was so good. It's a definite recommend. I, If I ever found it again, I would totally get it. I don't think I've seen Tahiti Island Margarita. I think I have another margarita, maybe. I can't remember. I just bought like 16 bottles of soap, so I don't really remember all of them. And there are 15 different scents between those. Black Cherry Merlot. This is another of my favorite hand soaps. This is the Creamy Luxe. I've said it in the past. I like the, 
uh, this type of a formula as opposed to the foaming because these last me longer and they're the same price. So I want something that's going to last me longer. And this is dark cherry, black raspberry and Merlot. And when I do get to the end, like you, you always have soap at the bottom. So what I do is I put it in a little bit of water, not like a ton, you know, maybe a little more than the amount of the product that's there. And then I shake them up really good and I use up every bit. And then once that gone take off the lid and I like pour it into my hands I get every bit of these out because even um, on like the best sales they're still like three dollars which is pretty expensive for hand soap but I mean it's something that you go through on a regular basis another one that I don't like this is the personal care raspberry and almond face and body scrub this is something that I think we got at like a grocery um, grocery outlet or something it you know, some discount type store. It smells nice. It was not very scrubby though. Like the scrubs in it are not great. Um, I just, I didn't like it. I like the scent of it, but as a body scrub, not uh, strong enough. And I would never put that on my face like, cause it was, the consistency of it was just not good. Here is another soap. This is a ghoul friend. This is one of their Halloween soaps. This was dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. I thought I was really going to like this one. And I did at first, but then I didn't like it as much. I liked the vampire blood better. I think that was what it was called. This one is okay. I probably wouldn't like go out of my way to purchase it. And if it was only in the foaming again, like it was when I bought that one, I want to buy it again. Went through a body wash. These I go through much more quickly than like a Bath and Body Works one, but I wanted to use these because I know sometimes when they're a propellant like this, they get stuck and then you can't use the product. So I try, if anything I have that's like a foaming like this in this type of a container, I try to use them as quickly as possible or I don't let them sit in my stash even though they're a newer product. I'm trying to use it my older products, but not with these. This is the Rituals Happy Buddha Sweet Orange and Cedar Foaming Shower Gel Sensation. I love the scent. It does have a little cedar, It's but it's not like an overwhelming like green scent. I don't really like pine or cedar or any of those usually, but this one, the orange is so bright and it's so lovely that it kind of overpowers that and you get more of the orange. So I like that. A body butter. I love these body butters and I don't think I have, I think I have maybe a cherry blossom, which I don't really like. Um, but I'm trying to use up some other body butters that I have that I don't like. I'm trying to use them up because I don't like just throwing out products to throw out products because I don't like them. I try to use them up even, I mean, unless they're, if they're bad or they're like really terrible, then I don't. Um, but if I just don't like them because I don't like them as much as something else, I do use them up. This is the Body Shop Vanilla Chai. This was a holiday one. I got this one at TJ Maxx for $6.99. It still has the sticker on it. This is really nice. It's vanilla, but it's tempered a little bit. I've never had a chai tea, so it's probably smells like chai tea, I guess, but I really liked it. It is one that I would definitely repurchase. Then we have a body lotion. This one was weird because this cap was down and like, I think I must've turned it back, but it only had about this much product. So I had used quite a bit of it. Um, but I used it up. This is the orange ginger from the um, aromatherapy line at Bath and Body Works. These are nice. They they lasted really well with this tempered this dark glass. So, and this is a this is a nice scent. This is a very spicy scent. Like that ginger is strong, and it is citrusy. So this is definitely not one that you want to put on just before you go go to bed because it's going to really be energizing. But this is I really like this one. Uh, is it my favorite? No, but did I enjoy using it? Yes. We're going to talk wallflowers. I have a couple that were frosted cranberry. This is one of my favorite scents of all time. So I do tend to use this quite a bit of the year, like maybe not in hot summer months, but it is one that gets regularly put in to the wallflowers. This one, I actually think like I always put what I'm putting in that's what these little things are. But I think this was a cran was the cranberry pear bellini. For some reason, at one point, they did really fancy ones, and I've never seen them since. 
let's see. It doesn't, Frosted Cranberry does not tell me what those scents are, but there's two of those. And then I found these two in a random drawer, so I know they got used up at some point, but I wanted to tell you about them because they're really nice. Merry Mimosa, I liked. It was sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and iced sugar crystals. That was a nice one. Tis the Season is another one that I buy on a fairly regular basis, especially during the semi-annual sale. I go in and I stock up if they're like 75% off or more. This is Rich Red Apple, Sweet Cinnamon, and Cedarwood. Like I said, it's good. Finished some candles. This one, I love the box on this. I can't decide if I want to keep this box because it's so pretty. This is Michael Design Works Black Cherry Soy Wax Candle. I got this um, from Tuesday morning. They were $6.99. The box still smells like cherry. It smells so good. This jar is so pretty. I don't do stuff with jars, but I might try to, I don't know, clean this one out and use it. I want you to sh see how well this burned though. I have not done anything to this. It is all the way to the actual bottom. You can see everything. It burned up everything. I have never had a candle do that before. I was shocked. This might not be as potent of a smell as it's burning, but I still thought it was really nice and I will totally buy some more of these because I was so excited about how well they burned and it wasn't overwhelming. Sometimes I get kind of a sore throat burning the Bath and Body Works candles because they're so strong with the essential oils and I have so many allergies. Plus the Bath and Body Works don't burn down quite as well. So this is one from Bath and Body Works. This came in one of their like VIP totes that they do a couple times a year. This is gingham. This is supposed to be blue freesia, white peach, and fresh clementine. I don't love the scent. Uh, it was just fine. You can see I couldn't make it burn anymore, but I have quite a bit in there. I will you know, stick this in the freezer and then break out the wax and recycle this like I always do. But actually, this is a kind of a nice container with a screw on lid. I don't know. Do I need to save containers? No. But do I feel like this could be useful in some way? Yes, which is silly. Anyway, the, I didn't like this one very much. I would not repurchase this one. I just didn't particularly like the scent. It wasn't, it was more floral than fruity and I prefer fruity scents. Went through a lot of candles because they were all smaller candles. They weren't like the three wicks. Used up this one from Joe Malone. Oh, this one smells so good. I'm considering getting this in a perfume. This is the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. And it was nice. It burned fairly good. I mean, there's a little bit in there, but not nearly. It's not as much compared to the Bath and Body Works. So that was nice. I will never purchase these though because... Her candles are like stupid expensive, even though I would love them, but they're stupid expensive. And then I had one from Zany Laney. I won her giveaway in December and I had three of the can of her candles in there and I decided this one would be a nice kind of spring scent. It is Oh There You Are from Hook and it is rain, blackberries, and a little pixie dust. So you can see there's, um, I don't remember the character's name, but the guy with the mohawk in Hook. And it burned down really well. It's a soy candle as well. There's not very much down there at the bottom, but this is also, I really appreciate that this is an easy to recycle type of container because I always like recycling. Not going to spend a lot of time on this. This is a lotion from Quality Motels. It was about halfway full and I just decided to use it up. Simple. This is a hydrating gel cream. It is the Water Boost. It's like a gel moisturizer. It was fine. I didn't particularly love it. It wasn't as good to me as the Clinique Moisture Surge, but if you're looking for something that's a drugstore, this was a fine. I like this one way better than the Neutrogena one because the Neutrogena one is so heavily fragranced. I would definitely choose this one over that one because this one does, doesn't have a scent. Yeah, no scent to it. I'm trying to, sometimes I forget, like I've gone through so many things. This is one that there is still product in, but I just cannot bring myself to use this anymore. This is the infamous uh, Fascia, or Fakia, I don't know how to pronounce it, 24 karat gold foil moisturizer that they put in Boxy Premium, one of the first Boxy Premiums last year. And there was no way in heck that I was going to put this on my face. 
first of all. This uh, was supposed to be like $125 value or something. But then people were like, it's on AliExpress for like a dollar or two, which, yeah. So I was like, I'm going to try it. And what do I do with my skincare that I don't really like or body care that I don't like? I put it on my feet and I put my slipper socks on and I don't smell it and I don't feel it. And it, you know, it's a good way to use up stuff that I, instead of it going to waste, I tried to use this on my feet. Um, this stuff was horrible. Uh, it didn't feel like it moisturized and it didn't really sink into the skin. Like it kind of sunk into the skin, but kind of didn't like my feet just felt funky. Um, even like the next day and I wore sandals, like I could feel like my feet just didn't feel normal. Like they didn't feel soft and moisturized. They didn't feel dry. They just felt like they had like this film on them. It was weird. I tried it quite a bit. Um, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it the night before I take a shower. So then I can wash it off. Didn't like it then either. Um, it's a weird consistency too. So this is what it looks like. And it's, like stringy. I don't know. I, this is going to be like rinsed down the sink. What I have left. Um, it, it's awful. And that's saying something because I try to use absolutely everything up and make sure like I use stuff, even if it's not great, I still use it. That stuff is terrible. Uh, case in point, something I didn't particularly like. This is from Dr. Brandt, which is unusual. I usually like Dr. Brandt. This is the Extend Your Youth XYY Dual Fusion Water. It's a cleanser and makeup remover for face and eyes. It was just okay. I had to use, I've tried this, like I started this a while ago and I didn't like it. It was like a year ago, maybe even two years ago. Didn't really like it. Put it aside. Decided it was partly used. I was going to finish it up because I'm trying to use up all of my makeup removers. Didn't like it, took so much product to actually like break down makeup and get a face off of it. <coughs> Didn't like it. This was just okay. This is the Snow Fox Skincare True Luminosity Serum. I don't really feel like it did anything. Like it didn't, I don't know. I didn't see any difference in my skin. I didn't feel a difference in my skin. You know how sometimes you can feel a difference. I just, I felt like it was fine. Uh, I got this, I redeemed boxy points for it. So basically it was free, but I just, I wasn't too excited about it. Okay. A, another product that is just getting tossed. This is from Patricia Wexler, who used to have a line at Bath and Body Works and my mom loved it and I really liked it too. And this was one that I found in the cabinet and I was like, okay, I'm going to try to use it. It's hard. It's dried out. It's, I mean, look at the color of it. It's just, it's not good. This was the Skin Brightening Day Moisturizer SPF 30 with MMPI 20, which is like her um, special type of ingredient for skincare. Couldn't use it. I was going to use it on my feet. Couldn't use it on my feet. Use this one on my feet because it didn't like... It looked fine, but in other ways, it looked a little weird. Um, so this was the Skin Regenerating Serum, and this stuff is not really a serum at all. Um, it's like this hot pink, really thick, viscous stuff. So if you've ever had like the extra emollient cream from Mary Kay, this re kind of reminds me of it, but I love this stuff. I don't like the Mary Kay stuff. I would never put that like on my face. This stuff I have put on my face and I used to put on my face quite a bit. I think I have an unopened jar of it somewhere that I need to find and use. And I would use it as like a night cream. Uh, I put my serums on and then I put this over as like a moisturizer. I would not use it as a serum because it's, it's not a serum texture at all. Mario Badescu Anti-Acne Serum. Love this stuff. Use it every month. Just ordered more because I was run out. This one I talked about in a sample Saturday and how it burned my face. Um, I was told that I should throw it out. I had already used it on my feet. This was a great foot cleanser. Like it was good to kind of, you know, get some of the, uh, it just felt good on my feet. So I liked it as a foot cleanser, but I would never like buy a separate foot cleanser because that seems ridiculous. 
Setting powder. I finished this. This is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I've gone through several of these over the past few years, and I really do enjoy this. I think it is a nice setting powder. It is really lightweight, um, and it goes on pretty well. I did keep this container out. Um, I finished this really early in April, and then I put a couple sample size, little tiny um, powders in here and put the lid back on it so that it was easier to dip a brush in and to get the powder out. And I didn't like them nearly as much. I was like, man, I'm really missing that Ciate powder. You'll see what those powders were um, next month because they'll be in my next in the May empties. Unicorn Glow Hydrating Primer. This, I can't decide. Uh, I liked it with some products and I thought some foundations performed much better with it, but then other performed really poorly. I wouldn't purchase it. I think it was just a fine primer. It wasn't anything too special to me. This is the Smashbox primerizer. I didn't like this like at all. I had two or three more samples of this that I went and pulled out of my collection after I used this and I put them in my declutter pile. So you'll see that like makeup I'm passing along at some point. Um, I don't know when that's going to be, but yeah didn't like that stuff at all. I was not happy with it in the slightest. Finished a scrub. This was so good. This is the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Two Minute Polishing Peel. So that makes it sound like it's a mask. It is not a mask. It is a definite scrub. It smells delicious. It smells like watermelon. It has kind of a sandy texture. So it's not one that you would want to use like too often but you would put it on, let it sit for a little bit and then rinse it off. I really liked it. It is one that I would consider purchasing a full size of if I ever finish up all of the scrubs that I have because I've gotten some lately. Two lip products. I cannot believe I finished two lip products. This one is the Bobbi Brown. This is the extra lip tint in Bare Nude. I used this as a lip gloss, not a lip gloss, as a lip balm in the the morning like I would wash my face and do all that and then I put this on as I did my skincare and my makeup and it kind of gave me a great base this is what it looks like it kind of got funky at the end just because it's so malleable that it kind of broke a little bit I really liked it it was a nice very sheer tint I think I might have another Bobbi Brown lip balm somewhere or lip tint and I would totally purchase this again if it wasn't like stupid expensive but if I got it in like a kit which I think I got this in, this might've been in an advent calendar. I think I have one from an advent calendar and one from a Bobbi Brown kit. I really liked it. Then I finally finished this. Yes, there's still some in there, but I cannot get any more out. And I actually can see like the stick in there, like the applicator, because it's so pretty much empty. This is Marc Jacobs. I love this lip gloss. This is the Some Girls Enamored Lip Gloss. This was a lovely color. I liked this. I don't use a lot of lip glosses. What happens is like in the evening or like throughout the day, I just will like stick it on uh, usually when I'm done with whatever I'm doing for the day. So I did like this one. Probably wouldn't purchase it anymore because I don't go through lip glosses very quickly. Um, I'm trying to get through as many as I can but I have like a ridiculous amount. Let's talk to toothpaste. My favorite toothpaste of all times is the Tom's Cinnamon or Cinnamon Clove toothpaste. I cannot find those at my local grocery stores anymore. And yes, I could go to Whole Foods. They, Whole Foods still had like Cinnamon Clove, but Whole Foods is not close to me like at all. Uh, and so it, all of them in my town, none of the grocery stores carry a cinnamon toothpaste. So then I drove to a local like natural grocery store, the town over, and I found these and I decided to try them. They're both fails. I will tell you that and I'll tell you why in a second. So those are bad. I need to go to natural grocers. There are natural grocers. There's like one. It's not close, but it's cl closer than Whole Foods is. So that's my next step. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bummed. Or if you know of some place that carries Tom's cinnamon toothpaste and not peppermint, let me know because Target doesn't carry it. And they were like six or seven dollars a tube when I was like trying to find them online. 
So I tried this one. This is Spry. It is the dental defense system with xylitol. I'm not really sure what xylitol is. I think it might be an artificial sweetener because this tasted like artificial sweetener and it was gross. I don't like artificial sweeteners at all. Um, that taste. Ugh. So this is an anti-plaque tartar control fluoride toothpaste. It was just in the flavor cinnamon. It was okay. I would, I used this one like in the PM because I don't use mouthwash twice a day. I just use it once a day. Was not a fan. Didn't like that aftertaste at all. This one I used in the AM because I didn't feel like I had a fresh breath with it at all. Like I still felt kind of in my mouth. You know what I mean? So didn't like this one either. This is the Dr. Bronner's Cinnamon All One Toothpaste. And this is supposed to have, uh, helps freshen breath, whiten teeth and reduce plaque. And it has like coconut in it. It's really hard to read the directions, find the directions. Cause look at all the writing. There's like, they're saying something up here. They're saying something over here. They're saying stuff down here. There's something else here. And on the back, there's like a ton of stuff too. So it has baking soda in it, which is fine. And then coconut powder, which I was like, what? There's like chunks in this. So every once in a while you get like this, they're not like huge chunks. They're just little chunks, but didn't like this. It also tasted like super sweet, like powdered sugar sweet. And I think that must be from the coconut in here. I didn't like it. I would not repurchase it. I was really glad when both of those were done so that I could use something else. All right, finished some masks. I have the Creme Shop Peaches and Cream and the Creme Shop Blueberry and Banana Sheet Masks. Uh, funny story, my friend was like, I really didn't like this. She just got Ipsy and she left this on for like hours and she, her face, she said, was so dried out. I was like, you're supposed to leave it on 15 minutes. Um, so read the directions, follow the directions. They, they will perform much better. I really liked the peach one because it smelled really good. This one was oh, okay. I'm not a big blueberry or banana fan. So they were fine. I don't think they're anything that I would write home about or feel like I need to rush out and purchase. This one, I have two of them. It is the Panda Eye Brightening Mask. I did post a picture of me wearing this mask on Instagram so you can see what it is. It was fine. I didn't like that it covered so much. So like Usually with my under eye patches, I, they're in this area, which is where I want them, but I don't, I, I tend to break out here and I get breakouts here. And as you can see, like I have a, a residual problem there. So like it covered all of those and I'm like, it made me a little nervous. It was fine. If you leave this one on too long, like it still feels like it's hydrating, but then it kind of sticks to you because it's a gel and I don't like gel masks usually. Um, and yeah, so it was like a little crusty around the edges because um, I put it on and then I watched a TV show and I should have taken it off. I should have followed my instructions that I told my friend. Finished up. I think I am done with these now. This is the no BS healing acne patches. They were fine. I don't love them. I feel like the ones that still work the best for me are the Peter Thomas Roth because they do have that salicylic acid in them instead of um, like the hydro colloid or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but I like, I don't like those as well. Not as many sheet masks this month, which is kind of crazy. Um, this one is from J June. This is the essential brightening mask and this had like rosemary in it. It was fine. Didn't particularly love it. Didn't hate it. Same with this one from lab coast. This one, I feel like I really had to dig to get out the, um, serum. Like, I feel like it was really a really thick type of serum. And these I, I do after I get out of the shower and then I put whatever is left over in the packet, like as over as much of my um, body as it will cover. So neck and chest usually, but even, you know, if there's enough, it will go on my arms because if there's some of them are so juicy. Makeup remover wipes. These are the Neutrogena. These are my favorites. Um, and yes, I still, I still like to use these occasionally. Um, I do purchase these like in bulk when I, when Costco has a sale and they usually have them for like $11 and you get like four or five of these. And then you get like a ton of the mini ones as well, which are great for traveling. I just, I really like them. Really like these too. These are the Wonder Beauty uh, baggage claim gold eye masks. These are really nice. Uh, I 
just got in the mail finally a six pack of these that I got from an Ipsy offer that finally came to me. I think I ordered it. I don't even know. It's been forever and they sent me the wrong thing and then yeah. Anyway, I have more of those so I'm excited because I was down to like my last eye masks which I've just discovered this year that I really, really like. I finished two of the 111 Skin Sub-Zero Depuffing Eye Masks. These are so good. I would never pay the price for these because these are like stupid expensive too. Um, but like when I finished wearing them, like they would be good for the morning. I usually put them on before I go to bed, but I could see like a visible difference in my skin after I took them off, which never like ever happens. But with these, it totally did. So yes, those are great. The last thing that I have is a steam eye mask from Meg Rhythm. And I've had two of these. I have used the unscented one. I have one that's lavender too that I put in a giveaway pile because lavender gives me terrible headaches. Um, but I also have a like citrus one. I don't understand how they work. They come folded up and then, I mean, I, does this remind you of something? It, it reminds me of something. But then on the inside, you like pull apart this and then it goes over your ears and then you just, you just sit there. And I did, and it felt warming. It was weird. It wasn't like uncomfortable at any time. It just felt nice. I couldn't tell, like, it didn't feel like it lasted too long, the warming. Uh, it's supposed to, I don't know. It doesn't say how long to use it. Um, don't use it with eye drops, which I was like, oh, I would never have thought of that. And I did, I put this on, I still had all of my makeup on. As you can see, like I got a little bit of mascara, but not a lot of transfer at all. I just wanted to show you what it looked like because it was so different and it was something that actually I could show you basically what it looks like. Unlike some of the other things that, um, our gels are like get dried out and gross. So that is my empties. As always like a ridiculous amount I will have them all listed down below I will also have the number of empties for the month and if you want to guess let me put in your guess how many products this was um, and then you can check anyway I hope you are all having a fantastic day please let me know what you have been using what you've been liking what you haven't been liking I hope you're all having a fantastic day thank you so much for stopping by and I'll talk to you guys next time bye